In this tutorial, we are going to look at the encryption and snapshotting capabilities of the ACFS. First, the encryption. Encryption is totally transparent to your users. Neither your users nor your developers will have any idea that it's going on. You can enable encryption for the entire file system, or if you don't want to do the entire file system, just for nominated directories or even individual files. The encryption and decryption occur in the path to and from disk, below the level of any application software. But we have a guarantee that the data on disk is protected. So if your servers are stolen and sold on eBay, not a problem. Nobody can get at the data stored on those disks because they're encrypted with the usual AES algorithms. Default is 192-bit keys, but you have a choice of the normal range. Keys are generated, one per volume, and the key for the volume is used to encrypt keys that are generated per file. And for the type of file, all file types, including database files. These are the four steps to enable ACFS encryption. First, we create and mount an ACFS file system as usual. Then we create the wallet, the key store. There are various places where this can be saved, but the default location is in the OCR. Choose your encryption algorithm, and then enable encryption for the file system, the directories, or for individual files. The first step is to create the file system. So I'll connect to my ASM instance, as sys ASM. And in this little demonstration system, I've got just six ASM devices, two of them already in use as the disk group that stores my clusterware files. I'll create a disk group, disk group G1. I'm not going to bother with mirroring, external redundancy, and I'll give it just one device, SDE1. Having created the disk group, I need to raise the compatibility level because by default it will have been created with a compatibility level that will not actually permit all of the more recent facilities of ACFS. So I'll raise the ASM compatibility to the current release and then raise the ADVM compatibility, the ASM Distribute Dynamic Volume Manager compatibility also to the current release. And then Create the volume on which I'm going to create the ACFS file system. I'll just create a little one gigabyte volume called ENCV, my encrypted volume. And at this stage, we hand over to the system administrators. So with root privileges, format the volume with a file system. So what's the volume called? ENCV-377. So, format it with ACFS. Then create a mount point, MKDIR, MNT, ENCV, and mount the file system on that directory. df minus h and there it is a very tiny file system on that point there and at the moment nothing there i'll copy a few files onto it just from my home directory
And at the moment, those are absolutely normal unencrypted files. And that's the first step completed. I've created and mounted a file system. Now I need to create the wallet. I create the wallet with the ACFS util utility. ACFS util, ENCR, this is one of the encryption commands, init. That will create the wallet and set the initial key. You do this only once. And as you can see, it's already been done on this cluster. So the wallet's there. The next step is to define the encryption algorithm that I intend to use for the volume. So, ACFS util, ENCR, I'm going to set minus A, my algorithm, to AES, and minus K for the key length, 256 bits. And minus M is the mount point to which I'm going to apply this form of encryption, which is MNT ENCV. Having set the encryption algorithm, I then need to encrypt all the existing data. For that, ACFS util, put encryption on for that mount point. And it will now pass right through it, encrypting all the data. Of course, there's only a trivial amount there. Those two files are copied on, and then some internal ones that Oracle creates for its own purposes. That was encrypting the existing data, but also all new files will also be encrypted. For example, vi, mnt, encv, my file, and anything I put into this will, at the point at which we write the file, it will be encrypted when written to disk. The decryption is completely transparent. If I cat the file, I see the clear text. So how can we be sure the encryption is actually happening? Well, theoretically, we could take the disks out of the machine, load them into another machine, and use a utility to read the individual bytes. But Oracle itself provides the ability to investigate it. Overall, ACFS util, ENCR, information about encryption for the entire mount point. And there we see it's got a wallet, encryption is on, there's the encryption algorithm. Or we can investigate an individual file. So is the file MNT ENCV my file actually encrypted? Yes it is. So we are covered. So those are the four steps to enable file encryption.